Hey, what's up everybody? Acklight here. Just a quick announcement that I'm going to try and cover the new Visitor of the Spirit Realm DLC as soon as possible. This is a run with Zingxi, just exploring his mechanics and getting a first look at him. I'll be trying to get a video out of Lee tomorrow, and then I'll try the new game modes out or other changes that I see along the way. I appreciate every view that I get and every bit helps. With that said, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Acolyte. They have granted me eyes. I hope everyone's having a great day because the new uh, Gunfire DLC just dropped. I'm super excited to try this out. We've got two new characters here. I'm just going to read out the description of what they can do and I'll try and figure out what their what their strengths are going to be. So here we have Zing Shi, uh, who could really just be called Sung Wukong, because that's what he is. Anyhow, capable of shape-shifting. Persisted in hunting demon. Oh, persisted in hunting demons. Okay. Zing Shi's origin remains unknown. He is capable of summoning clone that cudgels his enemies in various ways. Zing Shi also uses the essence chain to extract enemies. That's not where that should go power and turn it into his own strength okay so he's he's chaining people together okay interesting um soul strike pull out a hair and blow it at the enemy when it lands on the enemy summon a clone that performs cudgel hits up to four times to enemies within 10 meters every cudgel hit hits uh, sorry every cudgel hit deals weapon damage based on the held weapon Soul Strike has additional effects based on the weapon type. Each enemy can be struck by Cudgel once in a single Soul Strike. Okay, I feel like that's going to work well with, like, um, like snipers and probably swords. So that's kind of exciting. He's not locked into any one weapon, it looks like, just from this one. Essence Chain. Essence Chain. This is going to be his grenade. Draw out Soul Essence from your bracelet. Deal... 750 damage up to four enemies, reducing their movement speed by 90% for 0.25 seconds, and extracting their souls to enhance your own weapon. Plus two temporary weapon levels for six seconds. That's very interesting. Hmm. So you're going to want to be using this and then soul striking. Sure. Let's take a look at his ascensions. Okay. This enhances his soul strike. I'm not gonna read all of these. We're just gonna jump in and give it a feel. Uh, get second. I'll just edit this out. Here is talents. Heaven Armory for every 50 enemies killed with a special ammo. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. We're definitely looking at um, special and heavy weapons here we got an uh, a shield recovery and max hp okay this is interesting if he loses his shield he's gaining back max hp and max shield for everything lost but what's the cooldown on it it does also mean that he has increased shield recovery speed. So that's something to definitely take into consideration. Upgrading essence chain, sure, whatever. Upgrading soul strike, sure, whatever. And then we got steady stance. Upon taking lethal damage from an enemy, HP is fixed at one. Become immune to damage for one second and perform a cudgel hit, dealing 200% damage to that enemy the enemy is killed by Cudgel, recover 100% shield. Sure, okay. So we're looking to maybe make sure that he's still... That that Cudgel damage is coming in nice and hard. Okay. I think we're just going to do Zing Shi for right now, and then we'll cover the other character in another video. We're just going to jump in on Nightmare. We're not going to do any um, 
uh, uh, reincarnation here because I want to keep this 100% like this everyone can access this right now you don't have to pay too much into it obviously you might want to save up and pay for his talents but I also did notice that I didn't have to pay for the character with soul essence so that's cool I'm a big fan of that also I see this choose mode up here I don't know what that means oh I see okay it's reincarnation only well let's jump in If I lose this run, I might just be splicing another one <laughs> uh, on top of it. Okay, right off the bat, between a deafening mortar and a fire tower, I think that fire tower is going to be more applicable. Definitely looks like this character is going to be um, emphasizing survivability. What does this look like? Whoa! That's not exactly what I thought would happen, but that's super cool. I like that a lot. That's a super cool ability. Plus, it is scaling with weapon damage. I'm not exactly sure when I should be throwing out this link. I mean, it seems like any other um, secondary. Feels a little bit like, um. Lows. Lows? Feels like bunnies, um. Secondary. With a little bit more range. Like, I know I've only thrown it twice, but we'll, we'll see. Okay, now we got some, some things. These can be struck by cudgel up to two times in a single soul strike. So I assume this is gonna do, like, the, the anime they like blink through once or twice or maybe think about it like uh oh uh, what's his face mercenary from risk of rain 2 so you can go bam 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 okay we got some we got some shield stuff for essence chain 30 percent damage from enemies affected by essence chain for eight seconds for every enemy affected eight percent total skill damage and plus three max shield for up to 10 stacks for eight seconds holy hell that's a lot that's a lot going on, actually. And we just got the, the standard um, secondary upgrade. We're going to take Unstoppable Phantom. Not because I think it's going to be extra good, but I think because it's just going to be interesting. Also, I do notice that um, it's got a lot of shield. Not a ton of health. I don't think that's it. Again, I, I'm, I never really notice... Whoa, whoa. All right. That sounded amazing. I'm not going to lie. I should be throwing that out way more. Okay, we got an elemental power. It's not really... I'm not too interested. I don't know if this is going to be... I think this character is going to run a little bit more like Lilu. You're going to be looking for higher damage. You're going to be looking for... Um ways to maximize your damage. Where's my support? There it is. Shrine of Recovery. I will take it. And also, quite obviously, um, if you're a proficient player, every single defensive skill in the game is so much weaker. I wouldn't say that I'm super proficient. I wouldn't call myself that. But I am... I'm good enough that in the first few levels, I'm really not worrying about it. Okay, also, something I, I didn't note before. It seems like uh, this cudgel can lucky shot, which is insane. I don't think any other skill in the game can lucky shot. Wow, okay, more text. We're going to read this one out because we've already seen this one. Plus one ma max essence chain targets. If the number of enemies hit by essence chain is lower than the maximum, plus 30% damage for every target below the maximum. And what is the maximum? I'm not really sure. I feel like it was four. I'm not going to look right now, but I think that's right. We're taking Unstoppable Phantom because why not? 
A tiger cannon. A tiger cannon. No. I I also think that the reason why the um the cudgel is lucky shotting is because I have a lucky shot modifier on my weapon, which is super cool. I really like that. I really enjoy that. I think everything that synergizes more with your build is awesome. I don't see any reason not um, to do that in a game. Okay, try and bob and weave out of this, and we're good. Flame shard. I like the flame shard. Anyhow. I was gonna say something. I forgot. It's fine. I'm already having like a lot of fun with this character. I don't know if I'll be able to like do anything crazy to like the max with him right now. No, we're not taking the golden bow. I think that this character is finally who we've been looking for to take explosive weapons. Let's make sure you got some lucky shot on your explosive weapons, and I think you're I think you're doing good. Don't let me stand in every single trap. Wow, that is I was very slow for a second there. Just throwing out that, um, the essence chain a little bit indiscriminately. I just wanted to give it a, a feeling. Also, wait a minute. Huh. It, re it does react differently to different weapon types. I think it did say that in the description. I maybe just didn't, um, realize that. Yes, we're taking the, the ice pulp. I like the, uh... Icy Spear, it's one of my favorite weapons. I, it does kind of feel like easy mode, I'm not going to lie. There's no... You don't really have to consider ammo at all with this weapon. And you just keep on throwing. Yeah. An evil banishing talisman to go with our um, good and evil. Yeah. I will take it. I'm not going to go in that room right now. I'm going to jump into this. Ooh, I don't like this. Thankfully, I've got a lot of weapons that don't make this vault into a nightmare. My abilities are nice and easy with it. Well, I say that as I awaken like three guys around me. The way I should be using that essence um, chain is to make sure that I'm I'm using it when I want to maximize my damage. But right now, in these early levels, I... Ooh, okay. We are getting out of there. We're letting our shield recharge super slowly. Man, get out of him. That is... That does actually seem a bit exciting. Grenades. Okay, getting in here, just cleaning up. We are probably going to take that. I think that's interesting. Where is he? Is he down? There he is. Headshot, headshot, headshot. Finish him off. Oop, I accidentally woke up that horse head. I don't really care. Don't know why I keep on saying that. Dude. Thank you. Yeah, the fire tower was more damage, but we're gonna take the, uh, the weapon with two inscriptions. Elemental Torment. I think it's a strategic advantage. Whoa, okay. Scary. Oh. Very scary. 
Oh man, I'm already missing the fire tower. <laughs> I like keeping enemies at bay best as possible. Wait a minute, you know what I never thought about? Okay, interesting. The icy, icy spear is counted as like a shotgun apparently, which is odd. Definitely gonna change it out though. To a justice? Do I want a justice? I don't know if I want a justice. A justice? <laughs> How about you a justice? What the fuck is that? Um, I will take it just to test it out. I I totally forgot that we were gonna have um new weapons. Okay, we've got a got kind of like a, a prism type deal that doesn't bounce which is interesting okay this is going to upgrade my weapon levels as i'm using essence chain this okay this is just cooldown for soul strike which is awesome i think that's super cool and when in, when performs when performs soul strike okay the first cudgel hit will deal 150 percent damage if the enemy is defeated by this cudgel hit. The next cudgel will also deal 150% damage. Sure. That's pretty cool. But I think I want the reversed. I think I want the cooldown. I, what I'm already enjoying about this character is that I feel like I don't know yet, but I feel like the, the soul strike is gonna be okay, let me hit none of my shots. I see. Wait a minute. This has a charge mechanic? What does it do? Oh, that's so cool. I love that. It, like, throws out a bunch of little tiny knives. That's... I love that. That's super cool. Definitely going to require a little bit of accuracy to use. Ah, oh, but it feels so cool. And it has that little arc to it. I think this is, I think this is probably like top tier on Lilu. Could be wrong. Oh, hey, and it does hit through shields, but we got a, uh, a bloody drill to make that a non-issue. I kind of messed up there. Should have used the essence chain first. It's fine. Dodge out, get back in. Feels good. Feels good getting that shock off. Doop -doop -doo. I don't like this room. It sucks. Sorry for the slightly boring um, commentary here. I'm just trying to learn this character. He's very easy to pick up, though. I, I'm not feeling too intimidated. Oh, he's immortal. I don't like immortals. Oh, wow. That's much longer range than I was expecting. Well, that took care of him. Nice and easy. I can see... I can see this character being... Maybe not a top tier. I, I couldn't tell you that yet. And this, this bloody drill is working just about exactly how I thought it would. Whoa. What do we got here? Just a hell. I don't think shotguns are going to be good with this character. I think you want to avoid them. Because the single pellet damage will not do... I'm assuming the single pellet damage isn't going to work well with the cudgel. What? I'm going to give it a shot. Okay, that's some pretty stiff pull down. Whoa! Whoa! Neat. Definitely not for this character, though. Definitely not for this character. That I think that's going to be a uh, 
a bunny exclusive weapon. <laughs> so you know Albi can't use that kind of thing. Only 70% for the, the Soul Strike. Yeah, I guess we're going I guess we're going heavy on the on the soul strike today. I'm sure Essence Chain is super cool if you get it upgraded. But I don't really care right now. That just feels awesome. That feels great. Kills my enemies for me. I ain't gotta think about it. I'm just like monkey. Go, um, you can miss with it because it is a projectile. All right, gotcha. Throw it out. Get some bleed on this elite horse head. The literal worst enemy in the game. Least favorite. Don't like him. I'm just going to kill this guy in the most boring way possible, which is bleed. Again, I didn't do it in the right order. Keep putting rounds for the shield. I'm not waiting for him to put the shield up. That will take far too long. I did it in the wrong order again. There we go. Well, we got Dragon Tasher and... Uh, dra dragon tracer, no. I don't want a dragon tracer. Uh. Okay. So, just free. Just. Just free uses. Sure. I. I'm not arguing with that. Did they buff? Um, strategic advantage? I don't know. It just feels really nice right now. Not taking the deflection shield. A lone ranger is probably what I'm going for. I'm taking the lone ranger. This guy is very much about that heavy weapon damage. We will try out shotguns soon. Um, but I'm definitely thinking that you're going to want things like Tiger Cannons. Um, probably this Flowing Light. That's probably what we're doing. This knife was interesting. Um, but we can do better. Not taking the Sunder, though. Not taking a Woodpecker. Well, I guess that's it. I'm not upgrading either. Definitely not keeping these weapons. Too far. Yeah, wow. It also did lightning damage there. Oh, he did hit me there. What the hell? Another nice thing about the essence chain is that it's very easy to see. I'm not feeling... Whoa, whoa they changed him. So now when he's hitting those little pillars... They kind of charge and then explode. damage and it seems to only ah it also takes a while for the for the rocks to actually come down I am 
I am hating this freaking uh, bloody drill. It is not what I need. This is certainly not a recommendable loadout. Come on. There we go. God, that took forever. Goshawk? Advanced Depot. And we got another new weapon. Cool, cool, cool. I'll look at that in a second. What do we got here? Okay, we got more cooldown on the Soul Strike. Normal inscription is added to your weapon, which takes effect when your weapon is enhanced. But okay, <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. Huh. All right. Um, I think we're taking the cooldown. Yes. I, I love a bone dragon with some lucky shot. I don't think I need the advanced depot. I really don't think I need the advanced depot. This character doesn't seem to be struggling with ammo at all. What does this do? Oh, it is. Huh? What? Sure. Launches five controllable spiritual spikes. Okay. Um. Uh, sure. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> On to the next one. I don't know what that's supposed to do. I'm, I'm sure that would... That, I think that's probably going to be more for... Um, that's only going to work if enemies are around or something like that. I don't know. Doesn't matter. It's uh, we're, not, we're probably not going to be picking up any kind of. Okay, those are numbers. Those are numbers. God damn it! Why did I have to get this from the first stage boss? Oh, this would be awesome, man. I want to keep this. I'm sure I'll find something better. But it's, it's just doing red lucky shots so effortlessly. Is that Lone Ranger doing that? It could be. Get out of my face. Ah. Strike wing is probably a no. That was entirely unnecessary. I did not need to use my cudgel there. This extra speed feels awesome. Yeah, baby. I'm not thinking very hard right now. Definitely not the hardest um, character to play. I think he does have a lot of things that you could. Okay. He also maybe doesn't... He, he is not the most survivable. That is for sure. Gonna have to be a little bit smart with how you take engagements. That's what I'm feeling right now. Don't feel like a skill booster. Big Hippo is a no. A Deafening Mortar would definitely take... And a tiger cannon is... Hmm. What's this one? This is new. Ooh. I like that sound. Shooting a teammate deploys a blocking shield, damage being blocked, or causing no scope crit hits. Gains charges. Scope shots consume charges for enhanced shots with higher crit X. Okay, so we've got a weapon in the game for support. Kind of cool, don't care. I'll probably never take it normally. 
I would have upgraded to the Poisonous Ghost if it did more damage, but it doesn't. Also, I would like to note that it seems like the Cudgel is doing um, elemental damage. It's pretty neat. That might be something to consider if you're doing elemental builds. Keep that rogue arsonist as far away as possible. Oh no, bloody drill. Don't you come crawling back to me. Okay, okay, we are in the crossfire. We are in a bad spot right now. Probably the best option for me would be to get inside that vault. Uh, it looks like I am... Okay, nope, we're getting in the vault. See ya. Ooh. That was a sticky situation. I hate that they put those fire traps there. They feel awful. Come on, turn off. <gasps> uh, feels bad. A deadly counter. A deadly counter. I mean, I'll take it. I don't want to spend too much money. Yeah, I'll take that. Hmm. No boots. Terrific, terrific crossfire. You bet your fucking ass I'm taking a ter terrific crossfire. Eating a burger with no honey mustard. Eating a burger with no honey mustard. Sorry. Yeah. Dude, I'm coming. Oh, Lord, I'm coming. An essence chain deals damage to the same enemy. 30% damage for each repeat. Okay. Lucky shot chance for the next shot. Refresh the cooldown upon defeating the enemy. This is just free lucky shot. What the fuck? There's no condition. Like, should I... The cooldown is three seconds. Refresh the cooldown upon defeating the enemy. What the, the fuck? That just means, like, you just give me lucky shot. I... Sure. Aw, oh, man, this would have been cool. Doesn't work well, I think. I'm sure that... I'm sure... Maybe the... The, the soul strike works differently with automatic weapons. I don't know. I'm doing pretty well with this bone dragon. I will have to give it up, though. I just clicked my fucking teeth again. I gotta stop doing that. I know that sounds awful. <laughs> what the fuck? It just makes them go away. They're like... S it's not doing, like, insane mega damage, but it certainly is turning enemies into paste in front of me. Yeah, that's all. I don't know why I'm looking for secrets. Like, this game has extra secrets, secrets that I wouldn't know about after, like, 400 hours of play. Oh, shit. Sorry about that. I shouldn't keep my phone on my desk. So that does that probably did pick up on the can, uh, on the mic. Speaking of which, I will get a camera at some point. I'm not afraid to show my face on the internet. I have no privacy. I know that. Mm, that movement speed feels awesome. Ammo recovery. It's probably a bullet light. Eh, it's a bullet light. I think that's just free good things for me. Decay driver, I don't really care. Oh, I did miss a, a 
chest. Should I just get a random weapon? Should just get a random weapon, technically. For a friendly shark. Like. Hmm. It does have a ton of lucky shot, so we're gonna keep it. I have lost my um my movement speed bonuses. But I think I'll be okay. Oops. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. Also, can anyone tell me if there's actually any point to stability on an explosive weapon? I don't think that there's anything that stability does. Uh, real, I, I need to see. I need to see what it does before I get excited. It seems to be doing good. I think this character has a lot of math going on behind him. Easy. I mean, I am I am already gonna miss that frenzied shark. I love using frenzied shark. Every single weapon that's a projectile-based weapon in any game always feels better. I'm stealing that idea directly from um What's his name? I'll put his name in post. Because I'm awful about names in general. But also, man, Pupil is... Pupil is probably one of my favorite shotguns. That, just the charge mechanic of it makes it feel easier to aim. It does make me feel like Batman. Oh, I just missed my soul strike there. Terrific crossfire going to help me out here. Just ignoring that desert worm. I don't care. I got enough speed to just ignore it. And as all, everyone can see, I am definitely not doing the right thing of throwing this out then this. Is what I should be doing. Oh, sit down, big fella. I have some... I th Am I going to win this first try? I mean, I want to... I want to max this out. But I think the smash into dust... Next five shots consume no ana ammo if I use Essence Chain. I mean, that's pretty cool. But we're taking smash into dust. We are maximizing... As much damage as possible with the Phantom Strike. Because it feels great. Feels awesome, actually. How many times have I said awesome? I'm so sorry. Ugh. My neck does hurt from yesterday. Had a pretty... You call it a comprehensive workout. Did a lot of everything. Put on a roof. I am not respecting these enemies for anything right now. I should be respecting these enemies right now. Okay, okay. Let me get this situation back under control. Yeah, okay, that's fine. This is not the worst time to lose a life. You know, honestly, now that I'm recording, um, why are you over there? Why is he over there? Get back here. I want you to not be here ever again. Let me just miss both shots. Okay, now this now this bone dragon ain't quite doing what I need it to do, unless I'm throwing out the phantom. There you go. Mm, he is defensive. Well, it does mean that 
is extra tanky. God damn, just die, dude. Arrows deal additional AoE. Hmm. I think I might say yeah. I might say yes to the golden bow. Because the bone dragon doesn't seem to be doing what I need it to do. But it is good. It is very good. No, I can't give up the bone dragon yet. I think that would be my... That, that might be my porn star name, by the way. I think I'm claiming that one for myself. If anyone would like to fight me on that, I am proficient in... Many weaponries, actually. So... Let me meet my seconds. And organize it then. Yeah... All I really want is to keep throwing out that phantom. Oh, sorry, that's soul strike. Whatever. I'm calling it phantom because that feels like that makes more sense. Should I be enhancing right now? Yeah, I probably should be. But I'm not going to do that. That is a that is a wild hunt that I will we'll have to look at in a second. There. I'm totally fine with only killing off the one enemy as long as it's a high target. Because these... I am trying to focus on taking down these dark bandits. Obviously, taking out the tacticians. What the? Easy peasy. Now that I've gotten a good amount of use with this um, bone dragon, I am noticing one little annoying thing which I bet which I think could be a um, a rare inscription for it which is I want to see an inscription where if you hit the enemy in the head with the initial shot I think it should do extra damage or something like that elemental weave eh, sure I would much prefer... Yeah, unfortunately this... This wild hunt's cool. I'm not taking it. I see a box. I'm getting that box. Also, oh, you know what I'm noticing? Now that it's nice and quiet. Monkey sounds almost exactly like Crown Prince if he was a little bit more serious. Yeah, this is just Crown Prince if he was a little bit more monotone. <laughs> Delete! I'm starting to think I might want a more automatic weapon. Well, sure. That would go okay. Well, that's getting edited up. <laughs> yeah. uh, Dark Bandits, unfortunately, are probably one of the goofiest, glitchiest enemies in this game. However, for the first time, I'm feeling pretty confident fighting against them. I can do just so much burst damage that I'm not, I'm not worrying about it. Okay, no, 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 you, you, you can hit me through that. That's fine. 
What the fuck? Man. Nonsensical. There. Holy miss, apparently. Sniping with the bone dragon. Probably not the best idea. Don't really care. I'm not very... I'm not very worried about my ammo right now. I should, I should be firing it at their feet. Uh, you know, it's not possible sometimes. Can't see them toesies. I need to stop talking about toes. <laughs> Laurie released it like a video with too many toe references. What do we get? The lower the enemy's total HP, the higher damage you deal up to 80% damage. I don't really care. Don't care about the constant threat. We're taking rotation technique because it's just free uses of essence chain. Really look in and maybe swap out the spell dragon. Skateboarder, yeah. An Argus. An extra lucky shot, but only for killing enemies, which is unfortunate. Long shot, why why not? There's really no reason not to take it. Uh what's this looking up? Uh, no. Ugh. Fine. We'll see if the boss gives me anything interesting. I am sure someone will inform me that there are things that I could have taken. Wow, right over his head. Does seem to be chunking. Taking good chunks off. Slows. Sorry, my commentary goes to shit while fighting Wind God. He's just so annoying. Keep throwing out my main skill. I can't. I can't be lax on that. Yeah, baby. Not get around to this face. Just gonna keep dodging around. not the worst wind god fight i didn't feel completely stuffed i definitely do sometimes have moments where i absolutely cannot deal with wind god well that bone dragon seems fine i don't think i want capacity i don't really care about capacity what would i want with this one oh, elemental magazine is fine i guess More cudgel range? Yeah, we'll take cudgel range. Am I swapping out the pupil? No, not for something with those kind of inscriptions. I might have. I do like escorching rounds quite a bit. Okay. I feel like this run can win. I think I can win with this one. Oh, much better. Oh, 
Okay, that didn't hit. That would be silly if that hit. <laughs> what are you talking about? Ah, here's that sniper rifle again. It's a big no. It's a octopus. I love that he's just called octopus. He's not like octopus gunner. Just octopus. What would I really want right now? I'm thinking I would really want... I want a big explosion. Like, the Bone Dragon's okay, but I would really like a Tiger Cannon. I much prefer Tiger Cannon. I like that instant damage. Honestly, if I had that... I think this character can definitely do a lot of work with um, instant damage weapons. Because you want to maximize what you can do while you have the buff from Essence Chain. Not like it's a requirement. It might be a requirement for higher level um, reincarnation. But for right now, I don't need that. I'm doing pretty okay. I'm just eating these bullets over here. I'm just letting everyone shoot me. Come on. Die. <laughs> Run and shit. <laughs> when, when... Oh yeah, I think this is uh this is easy. Uh we're gonna replace inscription with Sure. All right. I don't really care, but sure. But who cares about scrolls when I have evil banishing scrolls? I'm definitely looking for that, um, that thing that lets me reroll all the inscriptions on a weapon or upgrade all of them at once. Get that bone dragon doing some chunky damage. Yeah, the crowd control is pretty great. I do not feel... I don't feel like I'm having a tough time with much of any situation right now. Definitely am not one-shotting. I'm not in one-shot territory. I don't think that matters all that much to me. Oh, that is a Shrieker. Um, and that's also a Deafening Mortar sitting there. We will have to take a look. Would I feel comfortable running two special ammos? I probably would at this point. Okay, more magazine capacity reload right after an enemy. With minus 50%, so that kind of like negates the, the downside. And that's a really good cavalry, actually. Nah. We'll take the deafening mortar. And uh, never have any move speed ever again. Mostly because I'm just bored of the... Of the, um... Uh, oh my god, brain, come on. 15% crit chance for cudgel? What? Crit chance? That means it's a 100% crit chance if I take damage. I wasn't I wasn't doing max damage already? This is nuts. I think we're also I think we're at the point where we might want to take um What's it called? If we see it, we'll take it. Um... Oh, wait. I never have to reload with this. It doesn't seem to be doing what I want. I'm not getting the ammo back. It's not quickly. What? Not close enough, I suppose. There 
Here we go. Yeah, that definitely did a lot more. I definitely see, saw that number change from like 600 to 1900 or something. Oh, got shot by the freaking catfish. Oh, okay. I'll take that. I made a few mistakes there. I, I picked up some not quite savory choices. But that's okay. I think that's mostly on me. Still, pretty fun. I think this is a good look at this character. And um, he's pretty nuts. He's pretty busted. All right. We'll get on to the next character uh, pretty soon here. I will see you in the next one.